Welcome back to Laser Engraving 911. So on this episode, I'm gonna teach you how I put custom logos on these Apple AirPod Pro 2s. I'm gonna show you how I complete this whole job start to finish using Adobe Illustrator and my 50 watt fiber laser. So if that sounds like something you wanna get into, then buckle up, get your pen and paper out, cause we're about to get into it on Laser Engraving 911. So before we get over to the fiber laser to put this logo on the AirPod Pros, I wanted to go over with you the file that I created to send to the customer for their proof and also the file that I created to help me align the graphic over at the fiber laser. So what I did was I went ahead and I grabbed a picture off the internet of the model that I'm working on. And then I went ahead and I took the actual width measurement of the case itself and that's what this bounding box is here. This is actually the the true width of the case right here, which is 2.38 inches wide. I'm not so concerned about the height, so I like to work at size. I like to show the customer what it looks like at size, and then also I enlarge the image before I send them for their proof. And this file that I created over here is just this box with the logo placed exactly where I want it with two crosshairs built in because I'm going to use the red laser pointer on my fiber laser to not only align the outer edges of the box here, but also I'm going to use these crosshairs, have it like these crosshairs, so I can make sure that I'm lined up with the green dot. And I'm also going to register right here to this line right here on the case to make sure that I'm nice and even there and nice and even here. So this isn't really too complex. What the customer gets is just this right here and I ask them if this looks good to them. I usually don't even indicate what size this actual logo is unless they ask me to because I know that this is actually at size. So what they see in my proof is exactly what they're gonna get and that's the way that you should be making your proofs when putting marks on customer stuff. I think with that we'll go ahead and head on over to the fiber laser and we'll start unboxing and getting these AirPod Pros unboxed and ready to go in the fiber laser. So let's go do that now. All right, so let's just jump right into it. So let's talk about unboxing, workflow, and also productivity. Here I am unboxing the Apple AirPod Pro 2s, and this is something that you always want to consider into your jobs when you're quoting jobs for customers, is how long is it going to take you to unbox those items and rebox those items, and how efficiently are you unboxing them. I like to keep my work area close to where I'm going to be doing the laser engraving, so I I have a little table here and a little garbage can off to the left to discard any wrappers that came off the boxes. I'm also making sure to keep the Apple AirPod Pro 2 in the same box that it came in for warranty purposes because they are serialized. All right, now that we've got these all unboxed, um, one last little note is you just want to make sure that you're, of course, always taking care of any items that customers bring you, especially high ticket items like this. Just keep them on a nice clean surface. So back over here at the fiber laser, I'm going to set up a fixture for the Apple AirPod Pros. And as you know, I love my Legos. So I've got my little Lego jig that I'm building here. I'm just building a little corner to corner up to. And I like to build the wall high enough so it can't uh, go over because you can see that this has round edges. And now that I've got this built up, I'm going to go ahead and get it aligned and then lock it in place exactly where I need it to be. All right, so we just finished up making our Lego jig, which you know I'm a big fan of. We put the case in there and we cornered it up and then we used the targeting box that we created in Adobe Illustrator to make sure that the case was aligned horizontal and vertically using those crosshair lines. Now that we've done that, I wanna bring you over and show you on the screen what I have using EasyCAD 2 so you can see the files that I have and share my settings with you that I use to laser engrave these AirPod Pros. Okay, so as you can see here in EasyCAD 2, I've got my targeting box that we created in Adobe Illustrator. I've got the logo already hatched and we'll get into my hatch settings in a second. And then I've got my settings over here and I like to work in inches per second, not in millimeters, but don't worry. 
I'll translate all these settings for you in millimeters in the description of the video below if you'd like to use them. So I've got my speed set at 150 inches per second, my power at 20%, and my frequency at 60. I have a 50 watt pulsed fiber laser. That's what I'm using here. So these settings may not work perfectly for you if you have a 30 watt pulsed fiber laser or a 30 watt MOPA laser, but these are good starting points. Now, over here regarding the hatch, if you go into my hatch settings, you'll see what I'm using is I'm using two hatches. The first hatch is at a 45 degree angle. The second hatch is at a negative 45 degree angle. Okay, we'll go back here. And then my line spacing is 0.001 inches. And I have mark contour off. And then I'm also using this hatch type uh, pattern right here, or broken snaky pattern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now that I've shared everything that's going on in the screen, there's only one last thing that is really important is that I'm actually going to run this engraving sequence three times. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna run it three times right down here. So that way it will do the 45 once, negative 45 once, that's one pass. Then it'll come by again, do that again, another pass, and then one more pass after that. So that's how I'm going to achieve this nice, rich gray mark on these Apple AirPod Pros. A couple of other things to keep in mind when you're laser engraving plastic, especially on this particular product, I wanted to point out that we're not actually engraving the AirPod Pro case. We're actually changing the color of the plastic to get that gray mark. If we were to look at this under a microscope, you'll see that there's actually no material removed from the case itself. But being that we're laser engraving a polymer, a plastic, you want to make sure that you have a good exhaust system in place right here, whatever that looks like for you. It could be a fume clear fume extractor like shown in some of my other videos. Uh -huh. Shameless plug. Um, or it could be an inline fan like I he use here at my table. But you definitely want to make sure, even though there's not going to be a lot of smoke or anything coming off, that we exhaust any fumes that do come off of that case. And of course, always make sure you have a great pair of laser safety glasses whenever you're using a class four laser like this fi open fiber laser right here. So without further ado, I think we should laser engrave some of these and uh, watch the magic happen. So let's get into it. All right, well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Laser Engraving 911. I've got to box all this up and send it off to the customer, and I'm sure they're going to be stoked when they get their final product. If you got value out of this video, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and hit that notification bell. It tells YouTube that this content is awesome, and they start promoting my video all over the place, and by doing that, it helps me out and supports me in my channel and all the various content that I make for everybody. And one more little tip for the road. If you're nervous about trying these settings out on a brand new pair of AirPod Pros or you're just unsure, what I did to dial in my settings was I actually went on to eBay and bought a non-functional AirPod Pro case that was broken or the battery wasn't working or whatever it was. It was just basically for components. And I think I paid like $18 for it because it wasn't working, but it had the plastic that Apple uses, and that's what I was interested in the most. So I used that little junker case to dial in my settings to get the look that you saw in this video today. So with that little last bonus tip, I'll see you next time on Laser Engraving 911.